as spring training rolls around, there's a lot of storylines I'm going to be following as a Yankee fan. Who's going to be the starting shortstop for the team? Volpe, Peraza, or Isaiah kiner Falefa? How's Jason Dominguez going to do? But one of the more, one of the most interesting storylines in my mind is about a kind of unknown pitcher in the Yankees organization who could have a breakout season this year. And that pitcher is Matt Crook. Now, Crook is a 28-year-old left-handed starting pitcher. He has actually not pitched in the majors in his career, even though he first started playing affiliated baseball with a team at 21. So he's been in the minors for a long time now. But Crook has the kind of the makeup of a breakout pitcher here, or someone who could play a big role with the Yankees this year. So Crook pitched with the Yankees AAA affiliate this year, or last year, which is the highest level of the minors, and had a 4.09 ERA in 138 and two-thirds innings, where he struck out 10 and a third batters per nine and walked 4.7 per nine. So, you know, not the most appealing right there from the start, but you start to get the profile of this guy. He's a left-handed pitcher who has big strikeout stuff, but has control issues. He is mainly a two-pitch pitcher. He has a sinker, which sits around 92 miles an hour, and a pretty good slider that sits in the low 80s with a lot of sweeping action on it. But what I find really interesting about him are his splits versus left-handed and right-handed batters. Right-handed batters last year hit 261 against him with an 831 OPS. That is not good for Matt Crook and really good for right-handed batters who versed him. But lefties, lefties had a hard time hitting him. They hit 172 against him with a 499 OPS. That is really, really good right there. I mean, lefties were going up there and they could not ha- make hard contact against this guy. Lefties had a 7 or a 217 slugging against Matt Crook. So they just could not hit this guy hard, and he's still getting a lot of strikeouts. I mean, that is an interesting profile to watch there. And the Yankees need another left-handed reliever for the for the bullpen. Currently, you have Lanny Peralta as the only left-handed reliever in the bullpen. Because you let Aroldis Chapman go in free agency, you traded Lucas Litke, now it's just Peralta. So you're going to need another lefty in the bullpen. And Matt Crook could easily be that guy if he has a good spring training. As I said, he is amazing against left-handed batters. They cannot hit him. He also has really good strikeout numbers. Struck out over 10 batters per nine last year. And just the profile of Matt Crook makes me think that he could have a little bit more in him. He had massive control issues last year, and that's been an issue for his whole career. In his career in the minors, he's averaged 5.7 walks per nine. So he's always had control issues, but he's always been a big strikeout pitcher, averaging 10.4 strikeouts per nine throughout his minor league career. So he's someone who I'm just going to be keeping an eye out in spring training He could be someone who even wins the fifth spot in the rotation because he is a starting pitcher. He pitched 138 innings last year in the minors. That is a lot. So this guy could easily be a everyday starter just because he has the volume built up already to be a starting pitcher. So keep your eye out on Matt Crook. He's someone who could easily work his way into the bullpen and be devastating against lefties, getting a ton of strikeouts. Or if more injuries happen to the rotation, he could sneak in there and surprise a lot of people. So Matt Crook is kind of is he someone who I'm going to be watching this spring training because I think he could be a potential breakout candidate. But tell me what you think in the comments. Is Matt Crook a potential breakout pitcher?